All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, we are gonna be taking a look at a pretty innovative system for cleaning your kegerator lines. This is the Bar King line cleaner system. If it's your first time here, I just wanna say welcome to the channel. Thanks for checking it out. On this channel, I will typically either do a grain to glass video where I take a beer all the way from start to finish in a single video, or I will do a shorter, more informative video like this one where I might be tackling a product review or talking about some tips and techniques. If you like either of those things, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And if you don't mind checking out my channel page for more content, see what you like there. So this is the Bar King uh, line cleaning system from a company called Five Star North. That's not to be confused with the Five Star Chemical Company, which makes products like Star Sand that we're all familiar with. That's a completely separate company. All right, so what is my relationship with the company Five Star North? Uh, they sent this product to me free of charge to review and uh, to keep for myself if I want it. It retails on Amazon for about $30, and I'll put a link in the description down below where you can check it out for yourself if you happen to like it after watching this review. Five Star North is a small company that's just run by a few people, it actually happens to be located right here in my town, uh, which is actually pretty cool. They reached out to me a little while back and uh, asked me to review this system. And um, I was more than happy to support a local business. They asked me to do an honest review of their product and I was more than happy to oblige. Normally when most people clean their lines, myself included, uh, we have a small corny keg or separate keg that's been set aside as the cleaning keg. And this is a keg that contains basically some sort of cleaning solution you can run through your beer lines to get rid of any old beer that's in there and get rid of any nasty flavors that might be making their way into your freshly poured beer. If you've ever tasted beer that's and slightly fruity and slightly funky and slightly weird when it really shouldn't be, it's probably a dirty line problem. A lot of bars have that issue if they don't clean their lines frequently enough and a lot of home brewers do too as well. Generally, the best practice is to clean your lines between every keg, but sometimes it's a lot of effort. In either case, you have to disconnect your lines from all your kegs, hook them up individually to the cleaning keg, use some CO2 to push out cleaning solution from the keg, and if you don't have enough solution to cover all four taps, then you have to refill the keg and go through the cleaning process once more. And then on top of that, you usually have to run sanitizer through those lines at the end of the process. And it can kind of be a hassle, to be honest. This is where this product comes in. This is actually a pretty interesting idea. They've uh, kind of taken the whole cleaning keg approach here <laughs> and just made a miniature keg. This is a small, like, 32 ounce container here. They've kindly included four packets of cleaning solution, uh, which you can just put the powder in there, add some water, mix it all up, and you have yourself a, a sufficient cleaning solution. The system itself is actually really simple. It took me less than five minutes to figure out how to assemble it, put it together, and use it. Uh, so this bottom keg basically screws off here, and you have a lid with a hole in it. And this hole has a simple uh, double barb on it here. Now this is the latest version of this product. I think the old version of the product actually just was a straight grommet, and people would put the hose in there, and sometimes uh, the hose wouldn't maintain pressure, and people left some kind of bad reviews on Amazon. Five Star North actually quickly took action on those reviews. They listened to the feedback, and they improved their product. So now this should not come loose or lose any sort of seal. You attach that to a hose that comes with it, and then at the very end of the hose, you have your coupler. This is for the corny keg style, but it also comes with a Sankey style coupler, which you can use if you happen to have Sankey kegs as well. I actually have both kinds of kegs, but that's another strength of this system. It's very easy to switch out these nozzles uh, and work with a different style keg if you need to. The usage of this system is actually incredibly simple. All you do is fill this up with cleaning solution, and then you use this as a hand pump to generate pressure. You hook up the end of this tube to your disconnects that are on the other side of your beverage line. All you have to do is hook the disconnect and the line up to it, pump solution through the, the line, and it's clean. This really ends up saving a lot of work in the long run. Another side benefit to this is this pump is actually going to save you from using CO2 to push cleaning solution through a cleaning keg, and that's kind of a big win in my opinion. So in a minute here, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use this system since my beer lines are actually in need of a cleaning, so we're going to go ahead and clean all four of them right now. After that, I will do a quick breakdown of pros and cons from the system. Real quickly, I just want to talk about the uh, t-shirt I'm wearing right now. This is a t-shirt that's made by Into the AM Apparel, who reached out to me recently and asked if I would wear a couple t-shirts for them. 
This t-shirt is actually super comfortable. They have several really cool designs of graphic t-shirts as well as normal kind of like plain color t-shirts like the one I'm wearing right here, as well as a couple other types of uh, clothing. It's actually very comfortable, it fits me nicely, and I will be definitely keeping it and wearing it around town. They also have some pretty cool other graphic t-shirt designs. I'm gonna throw a few on screen right now so you can see just what I'm talking about here. If you're interested in anything you see on that website, go ahead, check out the uh, link I'm gonna drop down in the description box where you can get 10% off of your order. Anyway, now we're gonna go ahead and clean out my beer lines. All right, so I have the system filled up with the cleaning solution right now. It doesn't have any sort of special warning label on it saying it's caustic, so it's probably not super dangerous, but usually when you're working with a cleaning solution, you wanna have some sort of protection for your skin. Um, and normally I would put these on when I'm working with Star Sand and PBW as well. Just for curiosity, I took a pH measurement of the solution and it's about 10.4, uh, so it is pretty alkaline. Short contact probably won't hurt you, but I'm not about to go find out for the sake of this channel, and uh, I would just advise you if you buy this yourself, as with any cleaning solution, use it safely. Anyway, what we're gonna do first of all is move my drip tray over and start hooking up lines to this guy right here. So I just disconnected all my beer lines from all four of my kegs, and now we're gonna go ahead and hook it up to the actual cleaner itself here. So we don't suck beer into the cleaner, we're just gonna open up a tap to relieve the pressure in the line and get rid of any excess liquid. So now we hook up our beer line to our 3D printed ball lock post. So I actually found that it's a little bit better to pump this thing on top of the kegerator higher up than the elevation of the tap because uh, the pump kind of doesn't, it, the pump kind of struggles to push things up so it's better to kind of push it laterally or downhill uh, that way you can get the beer line cleaner flowing. Once you get it kind of nice and pressurized you can open your tap and you'll see blue liquid coming through and that means that you've got cleaner in your line. So if you're just cleaning a single line, now what you want to do is actually leave this hooked up and sit for about 15 minutes so that the cleaner can kind of do its thing. However, it's totally okay to keep moving and go to another line because with the seals on the poppet valves and as long as you keep your tap closed, the cleaner will actually stay in the line doing its job. So just making sure you have something to catch that excess cleaner, you could disconnect it from the ball lock fitting and hook up your next beer line. Uh, 15 minutes has passed now, so it's time to rinse out the cleaner from the lines and hook them back up to the regular beer taps. Uh, in this case, the, uh, the instructions do recommend using water to flush it out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do one round of water and then one round of star sand through the lines just to be sure they're extra clean and sanitary. Uh, and that's all really easy to do using this system. You, don't, you just rinse it out and fill it up with the next type of liquid you want to push through your lines. So we're just going to quickly rinse them out with water. You'll know when you have all the cleaner out of your line because the outgoing liquid will stop being like radioactive blue and will just turn clear into water. After cleaning everything out, you should be able to now pour a fresher tasting beer at the end of the day and just enjoy it a little bit more. Well, that's definitely not a balanced line, is it? Hopefully you will excuse my slightly over foamy German pills, but uh, cheers. That tastes pretty good. So what are my overall impressions? Well, uh, overall, I think it's a great little system. For 30 bucks, it's kind of hard to beat. So first of all, for pros on this thing, uh, number one, it's really simple. It's extremely easy to figure out how to use this. And it's also extremely affordable. At $30, it actually has quite a lot of value. It replaces a cleaning keg entirely, which is really nice. 
so you don't necessarily need to have that extra space and that extra keg lying around. And kind of on that same note, it's also very small, compact, easy to store. Um, as you can tell, definitely doesn't take up as much space as a cleaning keg. And also it saves you on CO2 because you have that hand pump, you're not pushing through a ton of CO2 through your lines and not serving beer with that same CO2. I once had a CO2 tank die on me as I was cleaning my lines and that was a major inconvenience because I had to wait for a long time for the homebrew store to open up and actually go get another CO2 tank. This solves that problem entirely. So that's actually a really awesome innovation. And lastly, it has the ability to work with both Sankey and regular corny style kegs uh, and that provides a lot of flexibility. Depending on what kind of keg system you have, there's one of these things out there for you. For cons, well, uh, just like the last review video I did, um, I'm gonna put plastic parts as a con. People were not very happy that I was criticizing the previous product I reviewed over its use of plastic parts, but uh, to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of them. They do feel flimsy and they often break. However, in this case, um, unlike the last product I reviewed, the plastic and the price are kind of aligned. So it's not a very expensive thing to replace should you actually break that little pump and need to replace it. I don't really expect it to last forever. However, it is designed to be replaceable um, and I can work with that. The second con is the hand pump. Um, it's pretty weak. As you saw, I was kind of struggling to push cleaner through it in most cases, and it was just a very simple trickle that came out. It took me a second to figure out exactly how to make it work uh, in a good way. Like I said, you want to make sure it's at, at the level or higher than the level of your beer lines so that you have a little bit of uh, aid from gravity to pull the liquid through the lines. Uh, at the same time, it also helps to kind of rapidly pump it at the beginning and then slowly pump it afterwards in order to get the rest of the liquid out uh, and keep it flowing. Uh, it does work at the end of the day, but it is kind of confusing at first to figure out and it's just not very uh, good at pushing through the lines, but it's honestly a minor complaint for something that's entirely CO2 free um, and that's still kind of a bigger benefit and a better trade-off in my opinion. Other than that, I really can't find too much wrong with it. I think it's actually a really good product and I do recommend it. So if you're interested in purchasing one for yourself, once again, there will be a link down in the description box. So check it out and let me know what you think if you have one of these yourself or you're interested in uh, knowing more information about it. If there's something I didn't cover here in this video, drop it down in the comments section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching guys. I would appreciate it if you left a like for the video and uh, subscribed if you aren't already. And if you want to support the channel, please check out my merch store. I have some pint glasses there. I got some t-shirts. I got some some other stuff that might be interesting uh, it's a great way to help support the channel you don't actually have to wear it if you don't want to also in the description box I have a variety of other links to other homebrewing gear that I highly recommend uh, and actually this product is going to be joining that list of equipment so you will see it on future videos but if you want to help support the channel clicking through those links and purchasing something if you happen to be in the market for homebrewing equipment is a great way to help support me and last but not least if you're interested on in supporting me on a more personal level there is also a patreon I have listed down in the description box as well if you want to follow me on more than just YouTube I'm active on Instagram as the apartment brewer and I'll post there a little bit more frequently than I post to YouTube. Anyway guys, I really appreciate you watching all the way to the end. If you've made it this far, you are my true fans and that means a lot to me. So anyway, I will catch you guys in the next one. So until then, cheers.